crafty friends it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I am here with a card for the cat scrappiness design team so I decided to create a shaker card and I wanted to try something just a little bit different on this shaker card so instead of just cutting through one layer I am going to create a mat around my shaker so I have this perfectly plaid Christmas paper from Lawn Font and I cut a piece of white cardstock to four by five and a quarter, and then the piece of perfectly plaid paper to five by three and three quarters. So it's just a quarter inch smaller all around and gives me this little border. Then I'm going to cut through both layers with a small circle and then cut through just the plaid layer with the larger circle. And this will create a border around my plaid layer in the circle and also on the edges and just add another layer and touch of interest to the card and I did this with the never-ending circle dies from Cat Scrappiness. Cat Scrappiness has a lot of great basic dies with some interesting features. I also cut these this Christmas tree from the stitched and layered Christmas tree set also from Cat Scrappiness and I cut it from the same perfectly plaid paper. I chose this particular um, set of papers because I thought that it worked really well with the retro Christmas mix and would make for an interesting shaker. I did like a lot of the other choices of um, sequins for the holiday season, but I was actually just going to try something a little bit more non-traditional today. So during this card making, I kind of got to know my snow marker a little bit better. So this is the Marvi Uchida or Uchida um, snow marker and they sell it in the cat scrappiness store. So there will be a link in the video description. And um, when I first started using it, I was I basically just like put a blob of it right out onto my work surface. And that's not really what I was going for. Of course, I wanted it to be a layer of snow along the bottom since, you know, if it was snowing on a Christmas tree or a tree outside, it would settle onto the bottom part of the leaves. And at first I just put a little bit of the snow marker on the edges and it looked fine, but it didn't quite have the like fluffiness of snow and as much dimension as I wanted. And over time I got to kind of know the marker a little bit better and I started putting out more of the liquid and I found that I liked the look of sort of like the um, heavier liquid better and so you can get more liquid to come out by pressing your marker down like depressing the tip of the marker and it allows it to flow more so that's what I'd recommend um, here on this last largest piece I got what I really preferred in terms of a um, snow look. So I went back and I die cut the whole thing a second time and I added more snow to each layer. Then I heat them all up so they would puff up and create this look of snow. Now I added some transparency to the back of the shaker and then I took some foam tape and I added it all around the edges when I make shaker cards, I just make a box rather than trying to fit the foam perfectly around a circle. I know some people prefer um, foam, like foam sheets so they can die cut it to be the same circle size or some people prefer a more bendable foam, but I like the look of um, giving them a lot of room to shake about. So I just create a simple square around my circle with the foam tape and then I sort of support the rest of it with a bit of foam tape so you can kind of see that there and I just cut my foam tape to be uh, a little bit longer and um, fit it exactly in where it goes like kind of smush it up against or butt it up against the edge and um, then trim it down so that it's a perfect seal all around the edges and I have many videos where I do um, shaker cards so I don't always show the process every time because I'm sure over, you know it will get boring but what I did want to show you was this cool stitched Christmas tree die and the snow marker because I thought those were um, interesting and fun to work with so it is a little bit hard to see because it uh, is on pattern paper but there is a stitching detail around each layer of the tree and putting the tree here definitely does block a portion of the shaker but I think that um, 
it's still a fun look and I like how the colors in the shaker pull out the colors in the green and blue Christmas tree here and I think plaid is such a fun look for Christmas but also for the fall and in fact the current cat scrappiness challenge includes plaid and it's a fall challenge so if you like using plaid and would like to win a pretty, um, I think it's like a $25 gift certificate, so that's pretty awesome, to the Cat Scrappiness store, you should uh, check out the challenge over on the blog. So I felt like my card wasn't quite finished, and I also had a little bit of a boo-boo at the top of the Christmas tree. You can't really tell in the video, but just a little black mark. And so I wanted to cover that up a bit, and I chose this random bow dye for my collection. There are some coordinating dies in the die set. There's a star and some ornaments and things like that, but they just weren't the right size to cover up my mistake. So I just pulled out this bow die and I covered the top of the Christmas tree. And that's it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As mentioned, all the links will, all the product links will be in the video description below. And, um, Please subscribe to my channel and to the Cat Scrappiness channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.